Shalom, giving all praises to Yahweh Shem El Shai by Shem Rakak Wadash. Shalom to the 144,000 and the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. Anyway, I'm going to entitle this video Okay, you can see I got a uh, Revelation 20, verse 4. I'm going to read the verse in the King James. Then I'm going to read it. Then I'm going to give you the title. Then I'm going to read it out of the NLT. Uh, I'm sorry, this is New King. King. This is King James. And I saw thrones, and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. So that's going to be the title. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai and for the word of Yahweh and had and which had not worshipped the beast. Neither his image, it's not a picture of Caesar Bogier, it's not a picture of the white Jesus. The beast is not an actual beast. It's a system. The Roman, ancient Roman Empire, when you go to Revel, uh, Daniel uh, chapter 7, it speaks about a beast diverse from the rest. That's the pagan Roman Empire. And then when you go uh, Daniel 7 to the ninth verse, it talks about how. The judgment will come. Yahweh, vision of Yahweh is there. Yahweh Shai and the angels is going to destroy the beast. That's the the rebirth of the beast. Deadly moon was healed. It said, worship the beast, neither his image, the image is his system, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads. Mark is literal, forehead is literal. Or in their hands, hands is literal, whether it be left hand or right hand, and they lived and reigned with Yahweh Shai a thousand years. So now I'm going to go to the NLT, or the NLT, New Living Translation. Then I saw thrones, and this is the kingdom, so this is John. What you have to understand, when John was sentenced to the Isle of Patmos, he was up in age. He had to be in his 90s, maybe even 100. I would say about his 90s. He was well over, he was well up in age. So, all the, um, he was the only apostle left among the 12. Apostle Paul was one of the Apostle Paul wasn't one of the twelve, but he was he was an apostle. Apostle simply means to be sent away, sent forth. So Peter, the head apostle, he was hung upside down. The apostle Paul's head was uh, chopped off, and I'm going to why the apostle Paul's head was chopped off, and he was not uh, crucified. As Peter. Um, another one, uh, there was some of them, I believe, it was Thomas, if I'm not mistaken, but this is in the history, it's not in the scriptures. They used clubbed in the back of the head. So they were systematically, you know, put to death for the witness of uh, Yahweh. So the same thing's going to happen again. Not to all of us, but to some of us at least. Because somebody's going to have to, the, the elect will have to be alive in America to be delivered. So some of the elect will not make it. So get your mind right. So New Living Translation. And then this is this goes out to you people that think this is entertainment. It's not going to be entertaining when they present that karagma to you. And um, the penalty is you're going to get your head chopped off. Now, you might not want to vote for Donald J. Trump either. You might want to vote for that, 
Oh, Biden. I'm going to show you in a minute. Because I looked up something. It says, Then I saw thrones and the people sitting on them, which were the saints, starting with 144,000, had been given the authority to judge. Judge where? In the kingdom. Ye twelve, so shall on twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. They're not going to only, they're not going to, the twelve is not the only judge, are not the only judges. But you have the twelve, you have the rest of the 144,000, you have the one third. <clears throat> and then ultimate Israel, ultimately all men of Israel will be judged. They're going to judge the nations. But there's a rank and file. Rank and file. Rank and file. And I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their testimony about Yahweh Shai. That was back then, and this applies to now. So get, get, get your head ready, get your mind ready. And for, and then you're gonna be, that's the ultimate test. You men, starting with you men, then you women, that came into this thing, how faithful are you gonna be to this truth? When they say, if you don't take this, we're going, we're going to chop your head off by way of guillotine. And for the proclaiming, and for proclaiming the word of the Most High, which is the scriptures, the right way, as it says in Habakkuk 2, I believe it's the second verse in the NLT, it says, he, he says, they're the runner to matter of fact let me go to that let me go to that matter of fact I'll do it this way head back to So we really are going to be tested, uh, Revelation 3, verse uh, 10. The whole world is going to be tested whether you're going to take the karagma or not. Okay, let me go to the NLT. I'm trying not to make this long. Then Yahweh said to me, write my answer plainly on tablets so that a runner, a runner, we are the runners, can carry the correct message to others. The others are talking about the, uh, the people, the, the, the Israelites out there. So that a runner can carry the correct message to others. <clears throat> if you're saying uh, the image of the beast is a picture of Caesar Bozier, well, yeah, that's not the correct message. If you say that the MOTB is sin in, in all of its forms, whether it be political or religious, that's not the correct message. So you're running, but you're running and giving out the wrong message. It tells you in uh, 1 Corinthians 14 about the sound, a sound from the trumpet, mainly the trumpet instrument, if you blow an uncertain sound. So when you say Edomites can make it, that's an uncertain sound. If you're saying the MOTB is a uh, is uh, religion or sin in all of its form, that, or an embargo, that's an uncertain sound. If you say sleeping with white women is an MOTB, that's an uncertain sound. If you say the Apostle Paul had the actual MOTB, that's an un Apostle Paul, King Solomon. So. That's all I wanted from this. Let me let me uh, get rid of this. Okay, they had not worshipped the beast, 
or his stat statue, nor accepted his mark on their literal foreheads or on or their literal hands, whether it be left or right. It says right hand in Revelation 13 and 16 because right hand means the word there is a dextrose, which is your power. If you're left-handed, that's your that's your right hand. That's your dextrose. And the mark is the karagma, which goes back to the word karax, which goes back, which the root word is karax, which the root word of karax is grapho. Grapho is, is, is writing. It says they all came to life again. When did they all come to life again? I'll give you the precept in a minute. And they reigned with Yahweh Shai for a thousand years. They all came to life again. I believe that's... Let's see if I'm correct. First, that's three, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see if I'm correct. Maybe it's uh let me try it this way. Asleep Asle Let's try it this way. Okay. It was first death four verse 15 really from the 13 verse I thought it was first that's three so let me go here those who died in how was I so the ones that were ordered to take the karagma and uh, they said no and they said okay we're going to chop your head off you say go ahead and chop my damn head off um, so imagine getting your head chopped off because some of you some of us it would apply to we're going to fuck up the rest of us but if you're in the faith you know that you, this scripture should come to your mind comfort up one another with these words even IUIC sees that they said they're going to put a lot of us to death yeah but why because of the Karagman I, I believe that uh, a lot of those men in the IUIC and women I believe it's a certain number of them and my this is a, this is my, my opinion my humble opinion that some of them or most of them or half of them or 25% of them are the elect or whatever the case may be and that when they make the um, the MOT be mandatory they're going to like nah we ain't with that and maybe Bishop Nate might say you know what I was wrong we ain't going to take this shit and I like to apologize to uh, you know the apostles of GMS maybe that's a scenario or you can say, go ahead and take it. So that's good. So when they make this thing mandatory, and it's right around the corner, right at the door, not around the corner, it's right at the door. It's knocking at the door. It's going to be mandatory. You, that's going to be the test. Revelation 3, verse, verse 10. It said, but I, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye saw not even as others which have no hope. Because back then, uh, some of them would be put to death. Ultimately, the, all the 12 were put to death except for one. So that happened back then. And um, 
Remember when when Peter and Paul got put to death? That was when um, uh, Nero was in power. So that was in the uh, 66, 67. You can look up the exact year that the P Apostle Paul and Apostle Peter got put to death. It, it was before. It could have been 67, 68. Matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let me open this up. What year was the Apostle Paul beheaded? Oh, it's 64. Wow. Wow. Remember he said there was a falling away. He was talking about 70 AD. And he got he got his head chopped off Ooh, way. And like I said, it said Paul's death. Paul's death. Death are unknown. But tradition holds that he was beheaded in Roman, in Rome, and thus died as a martyr. For his faith, his death was perhaps part of the executions of Christians ordered by the Roman Emperor Donald J. Trump, Nero, following the great fire in the city in 64 A.D. 664 uh, CE. Was that the same year that he died? That was a fire. And he said, we're going to gather up these Christians and we're going to put them to death. Let me do this. You got Apostle Paul looking like Esau. Ain't this a bitch? That ain't no, that ain't no Apostle Paul. Okay, so it says 60, 64, 60, 65 AD. Look at, this, look at this bullshit. I'm the Apostle Paul. Let's come on back. So now, I'm going to show you something. And I have not I've been saying Donald Trump is uh, narrow. Did not what when the apostle Paul got his head chopped off, that was during Nero's reign. Now check this out. Y'all ready for it? Wait a minute. Vanity Fair. This story is. Okay, this is a year. A year ago, 2023, report Donald, I mean Trump, wants to bring back hangings and firing squads in his second term, is thinking about guillotines too. Two meaning or also, let me read that again, report, Trump wants to bring back hangings and firing squads in his second term is thinking about guillotines too that's def that's definitely a uh oh you oh, look at this you got the one eye you got the other eye closed that's a illuminati symbolism you know how they got the uh and to uh, singers and so forth, they got one eye covered. Let's look into this a little bit more. So if he becomes president, I see him going after the Israelites. Because he's a puppet. Okay, now I don't want to read all of this. Bear me for a minute. And let me do it this way. Let me do it this way. And let me do it this way. Make it easy for myself. The guillotines.
And you can read this whole article. If I remember, I'll leave the link in the description box. If I don't, just, just type in uh, guillotines coming back or Trump brings back guillotines. Yes, Rolling Stone reports that the ex-president who is hoping to become president again in 2024 has recently been rallying, uh, rallying, rallying close, railing, railing close associates that he wants to bring back firing squads, hangings, and possibly even the guillotine should he return to the White House. He has also apparently discussed group executions. So he's going to show his horns this time. So you might want to vote for Biden. According to a person uh, familiar with the matter last year. Now he's not going to openly say that because nobody vote for him. I want to bring back guillotines. Or I don't want to bring guillotines. It, the guillotines was never, uh, you know, a thing in America, but it was a thing in the Roman Empire. And when you think of guillotines in the Roman Empire, you think of Nero, Trump, and who did he go after? The Israelites, whether they be they call themselves Jews or Christians. Uh, privately mused about creating a flat, creating a flashy. Government back video ad campaign, blah 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 blah. Reveal, uh, da, 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 foot uh, exclu uh, execution if, if not, from the exact. I mean, is it the video would reportedly include footage from these new executions. <clears throat> During his time in office, Trump oversaw and, demand, and demanded the executions of more people than any other administration in more than 120 years. And somebody they give you the actual number. Let me see something. Okay, it's right here. As a reminder, the Trump administration executed more people than any presidential administration in more than 120 years. So he has a world record for executing people because he did in his last uh, administration. So he's going to really come back this time. So we got to see. We got to see, because if he becomes pregnant, uh, president, it's going to get hot because he's going to be mad at them, the migrants. He's going to be mad at a lot of people. He's going to be mad at them gangs, them, you know, the, he, he's going he to, he going you know, he going to turn, he going to turn the heat up. He going to turn the heat up. So we believe is it's yet to be seen <clears throat> that, uh, let me come over here. me for a minute all right Cambridge right matter of fact let me do this I'm not going to read all these uh, commentaries okay Thrones Daniel 79 right they that set on Thrones uh, they who sat on upon them to whom judgment and that goes hand in hand with Revelation 20 and 4 i.e. the right of judging uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 6 know ye not that we shall judge angels right uh, what is that Matthew what is that 1927 ye shall sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of, uh, 12 tribes of Israel was given uh, are identified by Daniel 722 
until the ancient days of sitting judgments was given to the saints, the, the Israelites, to I want the elect of the Most High. And the time came that the kind the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom, and that goes hand in hand with Revelation twenty verse four. I saw them sitting on thrones that were beheaded for the witness for not taking the mark. The mark is not sent in, in all of its forms. Hey, because the Apostle Paul sinned, that didn't mean he had the mark. But he got put to death. As the saints, Romans 7, uh, as the saints of the Most High Saints, plainly in the modern sense, as distinguished from angels, right? Earthly saints, which are the Israelites. I saw the souls of them. And when he opened the fifth seat, I, still, I saw it. So under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of the Most High, for the testimony which they held. So, so let's say Trump gets back in. He's going to pass laws where you can't go out there and speak. You can't push this word out. And, um, you know, the word the word's going to be cut off. So the ones of you that have watch this for, to be entertained you're not going to get no more information the ones of you that are part of uh, the elect you're just going to you're going to go into automatic pilot it said beheaded struck with the axe in this case the guillotine the guillotine is a clean to cut you can you can uh preserve the um the uh the, the organs uh Hey, you put somebody in an electric chair, you can't, you know, save the organs. You might be able to hang them and save the organs, but, but that's a clean chop. Whoop, we got a heart, we got a liver, we got this, we got that, we got lungs. We got all of that. All Roman, all. Hey, and they say this, this is what they, I'm just putting it out there. When you get a driver's license and in the back it says, do you want your bodies to be you know, you know, donated to another person's thing, and you say yes. A lot of times they say, "Well, we're gonna get this guy because that'll be an easy thing. When he dies, we can take his shit because he said you can take him." So always say no. You know, I want to go into the he the kingdom of heaven whole. It says, even though it's a spirit, it says uh, the old Roman mode of execution by sentencing by sentence of the supreme magistrate. Capital punishment of citizens who who uh, who been virtually abolished for the last years of the of the republic, and when the emperors assumed the right of execution, men executing men for treason. Paul, remember, Paul was a citizen of Rome. And the fact that he was talking about the new kingdom made made him a traitor to the Roman Empire. So they couldn't hang him on the cross because he's a Roman citizen. They, they do enough reading on it, they'll tell you that. So they said, we're going to kill you the honorable way. We're going to chop your head off. They said, it was done as though by military law. And you got here Mark uh, 6, verse tw 27. This is when... Um, Herod uh, said to to uh, chop uh, John's head off by a soldier with a sword. But the old constitutional punishment was inflicted on provincial provincials down to the fall of the republic, which is a Roman republic, and it and it is not impossible that it was. Revive is uh, and it's maybe it's got to be revived again with another further proving that this is Rome all over again. And then, if Donald Trump comes in there, then we're gonna say that's that's fucking narrow, and you know, narrow's record when it was directed that a citizen should be executed and do from the law. Thus, it is not unlikely that Saint Paul 
will be included among those thus designated. They're saying that that's not talking about Paul in, in Revelation uh, 20, verse 4. Right, because Revelation 20, verse 4 is talking about now. So don't be surprised when uh, Trump, he's not going to campaign on that. I'm bringing, he going to, watch how he, watch how, well, let's see, let's see, okay? Let's see. He says there's too much crime, there's too much wickedness, the migrants, and it, it's a too, too, too much of a, a big chaotic thing. So what we're going to do is we're not going to play with you. We are going to chop your head off. We're going to fire in squads, chop your head off. And what was the other one? There was another one. Let me go, come back. Trump wants to bring back hangings and firing squads in his second term, term is thinking about guillotines too. So, because he wants to make America great again. So, we're going, we got, we got to see, we got to see. And you know, they're saying that, uh, Biden is going to get back in there because he's got those migrants and that he's telling them when you come in this country, you got to vote for, you know, that's going to be a way he gets in. Another way he can stay in if there's a world, in the midst of World War Three. you know, they, they, they uh, postpone the elections or whatever. Or Trump could get back in there. As if Trump could get, get back in there, I see him, you know, showing his horns this time. I don't show show you his other side. Now I don't gotta heck I don't have to go to the scriptures to explain Revelation thirteen sixteen. You should already know it. If not, ask somebody. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom. I'm on to the next one. Shalom.